Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Surface where we make our survey practices to be easier. From our last video on topographic survey, we showed us on how to grid our plans at regular intervals. So in the case of this video, we grid this plan at 20 meters intervals. Okay, so if you are just joining us for the first time, please do refer back to our video on how to do that all right and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as hit on the notification bell so that you can get first-hand information as we keep uploading our videos so in this video we are going to quickly show you on how to plot contour on sofa all right so this is our data here this is our spot height where we obtain the x and y the coordinate of each grid intervals as well as the height okay so we are going to use this data to plot uh, our contours so don't forget that uh, from our basic understanding of surveying that contours are lines joining points of equal elevations all right so we are just going to be analyzing the point that is having equal elevations okay using this set of data um using the sofa software as well all right so don't forget to arrange your data this way on your excel sheet with the denotation um denoting x y and h your x is the instance y the nothings then the h is the optometric height okay then you are going to close the excel sheet then open your sofa so in the course of this video we are going to be using sofa 11 okay so you are going to open the software so that you are going to be able to run the contour inside of it so here is the work environment for sofa so the first thing to do when you've launched into sofa okay is to go to grid all right go to data so this is how in case your folder is not on the it's not on that particular um, folder where your data is you can click here to navigate to the folder but here is where my data is under YouTube okay so I'm going to click on as you can see spot height this is the Excel sheet then you click on open so when you click on open here you are going to arrange your data accordingly okay as you can see here this is x y and z so representing on this column this is supposed to be your instance but what we are having here is column a id so we are having our id point on this column which is not supposed to be so you are going to change that to the x um data by clicking inside of it then you are going to see the options okay here so we are going to change that to x all right on this y column as you can see we are having x data there we are clicking on it to change it to y data y here for the z is expected to be height so we are going to click on that and change it to the h data which is the height okay the automatic height here to view the data you can view it directly here on the excel sheet in case your arrangement was not like this initially you can change the arrangement here okay so i'm just going to close that so the grading method now the interpolation method okay we have different form of interpolation method okay in our study of surveying in in as we go further all right um we are going to see the meaning and the reasons for this various interpolation method but the general recommendable one is um, the Kriegin, all right? This is the recommended one for the general interpolation method, okay? There is the natural neighbor, there is the nearest neighbor that um, approximate the contour to fit in 
the shape of your um, boundary line but in the course of this video we are going to be using the grid all right so then you cannot click on okay but then if you want to see your grid record uh, grid reports in case you are doing some kind of volume analysis and some other things you can check this okay but in the course of this video we are not going to be using that so we are going to uncheck that then you can click on okay as you can see the grid has been generated as we created then you click on okay all right so when it's done you go to the new contour map here or you can come to the map option here click on it go to new then you click on contour map all right so therefore this is the grid um generated for that then we are going to click on it when you click on it it's going to bring out these options here okay then you can click on open so therefore this is the contour right or then we are going to make one or two adjustments on this contour by clicking on it and you come to levels as you can see the contour interval to be changing that to 0.5 here so the contour interval we are going to be using 0.5 and not 1 so that we can have a better approximation okay better approximation of the contour of the study area then the major contour we are going to um, leave that as default okay or we can just make it for so that we can have more labels on it okay then therefore we are going to remove the um the axis the nothings axis the y axis and we are going to remove the x axis we do not need it in this case in case you are just producing a contour map on its own you are going to be needing this data as well as the field color with um, the grade color color range and every other things or all we just need in the course of this video is the contour lines all right so we are going to be removing the y as is by clicking on the y as is here you are going to see this option okay then you are going to uncheck that you will click on the x as is then you are going to uncheck that okay so therefore we are having just the contour map so therefore we are going to export this to autocad format by going to file all right on your file you go to export so on your export you are going to go to save as type all right you click there then you are going to navigate these are the different formats you can save your contour but in the course of this video we are going to be using the dsf autocad all right format you can actually save it on shapefile for artist format but here in this video we are using the dsf then we are going to name this contour then we we'll click on okay don't forget on the folder it's going to we'll click on save and it's done so therefore we can close this so the next thing to do is to go to where you have the contour saved inside the folder this is the dsf file okay you open it so it's going to open on auto card all right so if you can't find it no cause for alarm just click on your zoom to extend then this is your contours all right but then we do not need this boundary here this lines here so we are going to click on that click on that then click on delete all right so we're going to delete that so therefore we want to superimpose this contour line on our job here on our plan so how to do that is to highlight everything okay right click go to clipboard and copy okay then you 
open the previous job environment don't forget we need to off the layers of what we do not want so in this case we only need the boundary line as well as the detail okay so we are going to off all other layers okay so let's check this contour to set as current so we are going to off the layer of the grid line region test this you know need okay so therefore we are going to paste by going to clipboard then go to paste to original so as you can see this is our contour superimposed on our boundary line but then as you can see there are some points outside of the boundary line so all you are going to do is to trim that out okay we are going to trim that out by bringing this boundary line to the front okay so by going to the order draw order then bring it to front so when you've done that you can now go to trim okay then you can begin to trim out all points that you do not need all the points or all the line that is outside of the boundary lines okay you are going to trim them out carefully all right just carefully So therefore, as you can see, we've I have just trimmed all those contour lines outside the boundary of so any other contours that crosses through your building or other large structures, you have to trim them out as well. Contours are not expected to run inside of your building. Okay so therefore this is how to produce uh, a topographic map with the contours the details so we are just going to switch on other um, layers as well so um, in the next video we are going to show you on how to plot the spotlights and don't forget your contours they are expected to be on brown okay the color for the contours is brown so you can change the color to brown here all right so you click on that so in the next video we are going to show you on how to plot the spot height inside of it thank you for watching don't so forget to subscribe to this channel as well as share this video to as many as possible thank you see you next time